In this video, we'll be taking you through some of the Empress Phaser's capabilities using Cubase. If you use different software or even hardware, you'll probably still find this a good overview of the Phaser's MIDI control. The first thing we'll do is configure the Phaser's control port to work in MIDI mode. To do this, remove the back plate of the unit by removing the four screws. Inside the unit, you should see a switch that looks like this. This switch is used to configure the control port. For MIDI mode, we'll set switches 2 and switches 3 to the on position. It should look like this. Next, we'll set the MIDI dip switch to the channel we'd like to use. We'll use channel 1, which is all switches in the off position. If you'd like to use another channel, here's a chart to help you select it. Now we'll connect the phaser to the Empress MIDI box and the Empress MIDI box to our M-Audio sound card. Here's what the setup looks like. We take the MIDI out of the M-Audio box and connect it to the MIDI in of the Empress MIDI box with a standard MIDI cable. Then we connect the Empress MIDI box to the Empress phaser pedal with a standard patch cord. In this example, we're going to take a guitar output signal that was pre-recorded and process it with the phaser. So we have the sound card's output connected to the phaser's input, and the phaser's output connected to the sound card's input. Now we're ready to control the Empress phaser from Cubase. We have a pre-existing session with a pre-recorded guitar track and some background music. To control the phaser with MIDI, we're going to first create a MIDI track. Now we'll set the MIDI track's output to the M Audio channel 1, because we set the phaser to listen for MIDI on channel 1. In this first example, we're going to control the phaser in direct control mode. We want the guitar intro of the song to slowly go through the full phase shift. In the manual, there's a listing of which control change channels control which settings. Direct control channel is channel 40. We now go to the MIDI track and find control change channel 40. Now that it's added, we can take the pencil tool and draw the response we'd like. Now let's have a listen. In this next example, we're going to show you how to sync up the phaser to Cubase using MIDI clock. Then we're going to automate the ratio so the rate changes but it will always stay in sync with the song. First we need to make sure that Cubase is sending out MIDI clock information. To do this, go to the transport menu and select project synchronization setup. Now we make sure the Cubase is sending MIDI clock information to our MIDI interface that is connected to the Emperor's phaser. Now we're going to automate the ratio. To do this, we add a MIDI track. The Empress Phaser uses control change channel 20 to automate the ratio. So we'll add that controller lane. Now we'll draw in our ratio changes. You'll notice we start by drawing a line at zero. This will essentially be sending zero values out to the rate knob, which gives us a one-to-one -one ratio. The next line will draw at the middle point, which is like moving the knob to half, and it will give us a two-to-one ratio. You'll notice when it plays back that it plays back two different rates, but they're both in sync. It's like we're switching from a quarter note rate to an eighth note rate, and then back again.
Thank you.